I just want to, to reach out to all those who uh, have not been yet vaccinated and say it's a, a great thing. But I also want to say uh, to the anti-vax campaigners, uh, the people who are putting this, uh, this mumbo jumbo on social media, uh, they are completely wrong. Uh, and you haven't heard me say that before, because I think it's important that we, uh, you know, we're, we made, I, I want a voluntary approach in this country, and we're going to keep a voluntary approach. I believe in uh, doing things through uh, everybody working together and seeing the, the vital importance of, of vaccination. And we've got much higher rates of vaccination in this country, thanks to that community-led voluntary approach. That's a wonderful thing. What we're trying to do is you want to the match, but hang on, wait, 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 wait. No, oh, oh, sorry, did I, but that is nearly good to go. We just need to add... What a tragedy that we've got all this pressure on the NHS, all the difficulties that uh, our doctors and nurses are experiencing. And you've got people out there spouting complete nonsense about a vaccination. It, they, they are totally wrong and uh, I think it, it's time that I, government, call them out on what they're doing. It is absolutely wrong, it's totally counterproductive and the stuff they're putting out on social media is complete mumbo jumbo. Where do, where, where do you put these? That's in, it, from in the here. top. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll need to move this across here. Right. Um, because... When you look at what's happening to patients uh, coming into hospital, a, a large number of them, perhaps 30, 40% uh, of them, uh, haven't actually been vaccinated at all. And that's increasingly true of people who go into uh, to ICU, into intensive care. The, the large majority of them have not been vaccinated at all, and, and the overwhelming majority of them have not been boosted. Okay, well, I oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Thank you for doing it. Thank you very much. Uh, we've had wave after wave of, of COVID, and our NHS has responded magnificently, and, and they, they've kept going. And, of course, I understand how uh, frustrating it is to, to see another wave coming in, and I, 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 I thank doctors, nurses, all health staff, uh, everybody for what they're doing uh, to keep going. Um, what we are doing is increasing the support massively. So there are, there are 5,000 more doctors uh, this year than there were this time last year, uh, 10,000 more nurses. So just check the little bits right you get, back. You're getting your booster? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. This wave of Omicron uh, is uh, putting huge pressure on the NHS. The, the difference is, of course, that it is, uh, it is milder, uh, but the pressures on, uh, on hospitals are, are, are clear. What we've got to do is give the NHS all the help we can through the next period, uh, with all the simplifications of systems, moving staff from one hospital uh, to another, all the ways we can uh, back staff up, but also make sure that the people who are likely to get ill get vaccinated First. Well, Phoebe, hello, how welcome. are you? Thank you very much. So you've got a so huge amount of, of uh, people you've done. Uh, yes, it's been uh, uh, 250 plus thousand we've been through here. So. Through this place alone? Through this mm -hmm. place alone, yeah. 250,000? 